Pay the price. Put in work. Stay disciplined. Suffer up. Never forget where you came from and be the example you've always dreamed of. Remember, you can have it all, just not today. Keep working, dreams do come true. My name is Boatin Kilian Ajini. I'm from the love, I'm from the heart of Africa, from Ghana to be precise. I was born and bred in Bremen, that's the Ashanti region of Ghana. So that's where I grew up with, that was where my upbringing and everything was from. I happen to be the eldest of 10 children, so amazing. I come from quite a very Christian and religious family. From our upbringing, my parents have always been pushing us in the Christian family and I really loved it. Uh, growing up, uh, I think it's also great to be, to, 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 to be coming from such a family like this. Uh, having uh, been from a quite a primitive uh, family, quite a poor family, having friends from the rich family, like you know the gap was so much great, uh, it was quite stressful from the beginning, but looking back, I love that I, uh, I came from such family. I'm also a student of uh, international business studies at the KDH in Groom Plus, where I happens to study international business studies. And alongside with studying, I also have my business like the fashion designer. So I combine fashion and, uh, and school together at this moment. Not easy, huh? Wow, that's quite a tough one, quite a sad and quite an emotional time in my life. Uh, when I heard the news that I have to I have to leave actually from Belgium to, to from Ghana to Belgium. Uh, I had to leave school, I had to leave my friends, I had to leave uh, my family, I had to leave my mother. I was actually in the first year of university in, at Kwame Nkrumah University that uh, I had to leave everything and start a new life at a place that I have no idea how life was going to be. I have no clue, I have no new friends. For quite I remember, it wasn't that easy. Uh, the new environment, the new vibes that I, I, I mean, it was hard, it was actually hard, it was stressful, sad, and a little bit lonely. In the hood, it made me more stronger because I was actually hard, was, life was tough for me. I couldn't stay home, so I tried to start doing something, trying to sell something in the hood, walking around the hood, trying to give something to people in return so I can get some small money to also feed for myself. Also buy some of these nice things that the friends that I've, I've seen here were doing. Due to my age, I couldn't go to like Okan here, so it was sad. It's like I have to watch television the whole day, bored on the internet. It's like it was really hard sleeping, waking up, getting all these pressures from the youth wearing their, 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 their nice clothes where I couldn't afford it, wearing my used clothes from Ghana. It was quite hard from the beginning. It was quite tough, quite lonely and everything. But I, I do appreciate it. It helped me or it shaped me to the person who I am today. The game goes public, right? What is it called? Auto? Yeah, Auto, auto 5, you know, the whack game. Never give up. Without commitment, you'll never start. But more importantly, without consistency, you'll never finish. I actually did never had a role model back then, but now I think I quite have some good role models that I look up to. I love Gary Evo, I, I love Grant Cardone, uh, I also have my respect for Oswald Boatin. He's also in the suit business, he actually paved way for a lot of we Africans and he's mostly known. Uh, I look up to all these people, mostly the CEOs who have been able to bring a company to the future. <laughs> Uh, 
fashion has to be with your own creativity, you know, uh, you, ho you always have to think about the future for the clients, you have to think about uh, what you think the next trend is going to be, what is going to look great on your, on your clients, what the clients are, their dream, things that they are dreaming to wear. These are all these things that you have to bring into creativity. So uh, to me, fashion is more about style, about creativity and also understanding the clients. At the beginning of my career, I started using Royal Swiss suit, but later I noticed that, uh, I mean, switches is uh, my, my, my personal nickname. Uh, later I noticed that uh, in the future I would like to make shoes, to make sweaters, everything, all these tracks that I've been doing. So I didn't want it to be more like me. Uh, I, I believe it was only God who was also, who would be able for me to uh, achieve my dreams. So I decided to put something uh, that has to do with God. So Grogo basically means the grace of God. It's the abbreviation of grace of God that I used to. So uh, I decided to change the name from being me personally to my creator. I mean, as you know, I'm more from the Christian side. So I decided to put it on the name of someone who was going to help me to achieve my big dreams. Uh, a lot of rejections, uh, my, my close friends standing around me, people that I used to love, I thought they were going to help me with the business exchange, even looking for finance, like trying to call friends, hey, can you loan me something, can you give me 100 euros, 200 euros, all these friends turned against me, whilst I could also see on their Snapchat that they were enjoying and popping bottles in the club. It's been a lot, people call my parents, telling them, tell your son to focus only on studies. Uh, it's just a lot, a lot. Clients hanging up on you, people telling you a lot of a lot of setbacks. My name is Emmanuel Owusu Ansan. I'm originally from Ghana and I live in Anto. I met Gideon about three to four years ago. He lived close to me in the same neighborhood. He's also originally from Ghana. I believe what motivated him was the fact that uh, a lot of people were into fashion but they couldn't find the, the, the taste of fashion or the style what they really wanted. And Gideon thought that he could come up with something uh, very different from what we already know in the shops. So that's what actually motivated him. I remember when he started, he was kind of a little bit lazy. He was so relaxed all the time. He thought everything would just come to him. But as time went on, he realized that he has to go for it. So now I see that change is not more the lazy type. He's the one that has to go for it. He's always working towards the, the goal that he set up for himself. The negative side of him is he's workaholic. He's all about work and nothing more. Work, work, work. And I think it's negative. That's something I also uh, advise him sometimes that he needs to have time for himself and also for the family. Because at the point you're gonna have a family and then you need to take time and then have spent, spend some time actually with your family. So if you're a workaholic, you're always like every day not home. Problems in business, you're always going to face it. Uh, it's inevitable. Uh, you need money. You know, people have big dreams, but you need money to, to face this great competition. And you mean competing with these big brands like Zara, you supply, which they have a large, big revenue. They are able to do some sponsorship that make you to do some advertisement that is quite hard for me personally to do, regarding me being a student and even also the time and also the people that you know. You know, it makes it quite hard, quite hard, difficult uh, doing the capital section. And also sometimes with the clients that we have, basically because they know that maybe you're a student or we come from the same culture they always want to give a uh, small capital or small prices and i think this is also not only a problem to me my upcoming business owners they always face the problem because most of their clients don't want to give the exact amount that makes it very quite difficult for them to sustain their business i've been able to see my weakness my strength it's now easy for me to talk to people uh, i was quite more secretive now i'm able to open up to people i'm able to 
also motivate a lot of people i've gained a lot of knowledge how to sell you know school is different thing education is also different thing i've learned how to sell i know how to talk to people i know how to negotiate uh i've learned quite a lot i've learned to quite people from different cultures how and i've just uh see how money works how it, it it takes things that it takes to start up a business how to handle failures how to handle stress i have to be grateful for where i started and from where i am right now uh so i've been able to achieve quite a few uh yeah and which i'm grateful for that i made a my first business seminar and it happened to be a sold out show i'm not an artist i'm not everything and this i think it happens to be one of the first in my community and a lot of people love it the feedback that i had was amazing i have gained a wide brand awareness of from uk people in holland people in germany people in france and even in italy that is a great achievement uh it's something that i used to dream of there has been a lot of things that i used to pray for that are achieving now one of the greatest thing is i happen to to be selling suits in my room and now in next year i'm moving to the biggest shopping street in antwerp so this has been a great achievement but there's really really a lot to go i'm not gonna lie <laughs> In a very few ways, Gideon is a very focused guy, very determined, and he always wants to go for it. He wants nothing but the best. And he is very, a person who always challenges himself. He really wants to be at the top. He's that guy, very serious person. In two years, I want to create a lot of great high awareness and a lot of market share with the brand widely known across Europe. I would like also to have a shop in the United, uh, United Kingdom and probably also in the Netherlands. So in my long term, uh, in the two years to come, I would like to be widely known, also a market leader in the fashion industry according to the men's staffs. And I would, I would love also to be giving back and also helping people to also start their business in the community. Not doing anything is risky. Doing something is also risky. They have to choose their risk. And nothing good comes easy. I'm here, I've seen a lot of people making business, but they were stick only to African shops or maybe Barbary shop. I had to do it. And quite, I wouldn't say that it's just very successful yet, but they could see that we're on a good end. So. Uh, they should never give up. They should always follow their dreams. It wouldn't make sense to everyone, but surely they will also have find their target customers and uh, they give up on their own risk. You can do everything if you have God. Oh, 